So you want to make 10K in three days. I wonder what platform has free videos that could really help you get the back. Hello everyone, it's Jay. And let's talk about the entrepreneur movement and the impact it has made on local businesses. If you happen to like my content, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below on what you think. Scouring the internet on get rich quick ideas has become the the norm. And I mean, why wouldn't it be the norm whenever you have the Jake Pauls of the world? I'm bringing God to the ring, all the love in the universe, all of the light, and I know we will win. By the way, that fight was really awful, and I'm never watching another event again. From wholesale real estate to learning how to do plumbing, detailing, or working in automotive, becoming a millionaire is stupid easy, right? Right, guys? Guys? Hello? Uh. Recently, I was in a field that promoted the idea of using videos on YouTube to gain profit. And while it isn't a dumb idea to look for free methods, we can all agree that some education is necessary when trying to reach the social status of wealth. How many times have you looked up videos on how to fix brakes on a certain car? Slap on like this hold those together or how to just simply cook eggs but where is the line drawn on being legitimate and also free learning is the information we are looking for truthful or is it cutting corners to make quick cash we all want that fancy lamborghini that you see on instagram and five big houses but it comes with a price when looking into how to become an entrepreneur we are sold this lavish idea that it can be obtained so if it can be obtained what is the price most entrepreneurs tell you you can do this by paying for a certain program that will guide you to become the lion of the kingdom she makes 30 times a day. Andrew Tate is a good example of this. When you show off how many Bugattis you have and express that you were able to get this lifestyle for free while promoting a pay to play program that will help you get there too, you are putting money into their pockets. And yes, sometimes you do get useful information in return. One miscommunication that a lot of these entrepreneurs don't tell you is how many advertisers paid for the video you are watching to get rich quick. Example of this would be product placement. A lot of these videos have well thought out camera angles to promote products while giving you hope of being rich. Or how about how much money they made on selling you these programs that literally give you information that you can find yourself for free either by going to a library, getting legal advice from a lawyer, or Google itself. Majority of the time a lot of these programs do that exact thing for you so that way you don't have to do it. How has being an entrepreneur impacted local businesses. Remember when I said is the information we are searching for truthful or is it cutting corners? Taking a look at some of the wholesale real estate videos where you can make quick cash. Some creators are using platforms like Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace to sell you a contract on a home. In order to be able to do this you can take the same concept and use Facebook Marketplace. And while both platforms were a good source of selling items online at a certain point in time, they have become so unregulated that it is filled with scams. And one might think that what you are selling is a scam, making it harder to make a sale. Another example of entrepreneurs in housing is building a home for cheap, which is just a recipe for disaster. Many people look into these videos to increase profit either by cutting corners during construction or coming up with creative ways that barely meet regulation. My favorite pastime is watching failed home inspections on new homes due to this entrepreneur mindset. Not all entrepreneurs are bad, however. Investing money into something you believe in will create the outcome you are looking for in the long run. But that doesn't mean just throwing away money into programs that have little return. Famous automotive content creator Doug DeMiro could be seen as an entrepreneur as he started his ventures redeeming cars in the 2010s, which gave him access to invest into his brand Cars and Bids in the 2020s. This method of just following his passion of cars has made him millions. 
because he invested his time and his money into something he was passionate about. There are a lot of avenues to becoming an entrepreneur, but we have to get out of the mindset of making cash fast because most creators that claim to help you with this only promote programs that help themselves. One could say that getting an education is a waste as well. And while I do believe some of that statement, it has also helped shape entrepreneurs because a lot of the information given was once learned in a classroom. But over time, it could have been misinterpreted to benefit themselves. This will be the end of my video, guys. What are your beliefs on becoming an entrepreneur? Do you think investing money into the market or businesses is the smart route? Or does investing money into a program make you the lion of the kingdom? With that being said, I want everybody to be the lion of the kingdom. And now I'm going to roar my way out of this video because that was cringy as hell. Roar.